In today's episode, we'll look at some of the most unique military-style civilian and trainer aircraft that are still in use around the globe. We'll check out each of their specifications, designs, and current market prices. People often think of fighter jets when they hear the words military aircraft, but we use the term military style to describe civilian aircraft with distinguishing elements that look similar to those found on military planes. These may include design features such as a tough-looking exterior, low-wing design, or using advanced avionic systems. In most cases, these are aircraft designs for use in a variety of extreme conditions or as aerobatic or demonstration planes. These are becoming popular choices for civilian pilots or operators who want to showcase a more versatile or rugged aircraft with advanced flight capabilities. If you're new here, I'm Roxanne and you're watching Aviation Federation, your source of exciting information about the latest and greatest in aviation and beyond. Let's start at number 5 with the Tarragon. This is a high-performance two-seater ultralight manufactured by Tarragon Aircraft, a company based in Spain. It uses a 100-horsepower Rodex, 912IS fuel-injected and liquid-cooled four-cylinder engine with a two-blade constant-speed propeller. It has a maximum cruise speed of 185 knots or 230 miles per hour and a range of up to 1,000 nautical miles. It has a service ceiling of 15,000 feet and a rate of climb of 1,200 feet per minute, allowing it to climb quickly and efficiently to cruising altitude. The aircraft is also designed to be easy to take off and land, with impressive average short takeoff and landing distances of approximately 660 feet and 820 feet, respectively. The Terragon has a cantilever low-wing design, a closed cockpit with two seats in tandem under a bubble canopy, and a retractable tricycle landing gear. Its airframe is made of light carbon fiber composites, and high aspect ratio wings provide excellent handling and low drag. Modern builds now use the Garmin G3X Touch avionics suite, using two large primary flight displays alongside other standard navigation and communication capabilities. It is also designed to be customizable, with a range of options available to suit the needs and preferences of individual pilots, including different interior and exterior color schemes and avionics packages. This plane now has a reported price of around 250 to 300,000 US dollars. At number 4 is the BK-160 Gabriel. This is a two-seater light sport aircraft built by the Italian company Blackshape. It is now powered by a Lycoming IO320 D1B engine, producing a maximum power output of 160 horsepower and linked to a hard cell Raptor series composite propeller. It has a maximum level speed of 160 knots or around 185 miles per hour and a range of 400 nautical miles on economy cruising. Its maximum operating altitude is at 15,000 feet and the maximum rate of climb is 1,350 feet per minute with a maximum takeoff weight of 1,873 pounds. The Black Shape BK-160 Gabriel features a spacious and comfortable cockpit that provides excellent visibility for the pilot and passenger in tandem seating configuration. It uses the Aspen Evolution 1000 Pro as its primary flight display with engine and flight controls from JP Instruments and navigation and comms equipment from Garmin. Other notable features include a retractable landing gear, electric flaps, anti-blast fuel tanks, and a ballistic parachute system for added safety. 
the base price of the black shape BK160 Gabriel costs over 300,000 US dollars. But there are fully decked out versions that have a reported cost of around 700,000 US dollars. At number 3 is the G120 TP from Grob Aircraft, a German aerospace company. This is a lightweight single engine aircraft featuring a low wing design, a T tail, and a semi monocoque fuselage made of carbon fiber composites. This aircraft is powered by a Rolls Royce M250 B17F turbine engine with an impressive 456 horsepower output. It can achieve a maximum cruise speed of 205 knots or 235 miles per hour and a maximum range of 725 nautical miles while flying at a maximum altitude of 10,000 feet. In addition, its rate of climb is at 2,855 feet per minute and the takeoff and landing distance with M tow is at 1,233 feet and 1,492 feet respectively. According to Grob Aircraft, the G120TP is a thoroughbred basic trainer aircraft optimized for demanding military training environments. Indeed, this is an ideal training aircraft for military and civilian pilot training programs with excellent maneuverability and a high level of safety. It has been certified by the European Aviation Safety Agency and the Federal Aviation Administration and is used by air forces and flight schools worldwide. It features a full glass cockpit with a Garmin G500 TXI avionic suite providing excellent situational awareness as well as an integrated GTS 800 traffic alert and collision avoidance system. The base price is now at 2.7 million US dollars. At number 2, we chose the Dart 550, one of the newest offerings from Diamond Aircraft, the Austrian aviation company. This plane has a General Electric GEH 75-100 turboprop engine with 550 horsepower, alongside an EEPC, or electronic engine and propeller control system, and a 5-blade full fetter MT propeller. Its expected maximum speed is 247 knots, or about 284 miles per hour, and the expected maximum endurance is up to 8 hours. The maximum takeoff weight is just 5,300 pounds, with a fully equipped empty weight of about 3,500 pounds. Its previous prototype reported a climb rate of 2,990 feet per minute and a service ceiling of 23,000 feet. The Dart 550 was originally designed by Diamond Aircraft to become a solid choice for flight schools to replace their old-generation aerobatic trainers. This is built from the successful DA-50 platform, but it was extensively modified to operate as a military trainer, a reconnaissance or scout plane, and a light attack aircraft. It features a sleek and modern design with a low-wing configuration, a T-tail, and a carbon fiber composite airframe. It also comes equipped with a Garmin G3000 integrated avionic systems and the industry-leading Martin Baker MK16 ejection seats. The asking price is yet to be disclosed, but reports estimate it to be just under 4 million US dollars. Before we proceed with the rest of this list, we're happy to let you know that we now have another way for you to support our content. As you already know, we're not really here to sell you anything. But you can now send us a one-time donation by visiting the link on screen or by clicking the link in the description box. Every contribution you make helps us grow in order to bring you more useful and entertaining content. Thank you and we truly appreciate all of your support. Finally, for the number one spot, we chose the Pilatus PC-21. Built by the Swiss aerospace company Pilatus Aircraft, 
This is a single-engine turboprop designed primarily for pilot training. It is powered by a Pratt & Whitney PT6A 68B engine with a whopping 1,600 horsepower, allowing it to reach a maximum operating speed of 370 knots or 425 miles per hour and maximum cruise speeds of 337 knots or almost 388 miles per hour. The rate of climb is 4,091 feet per minute, but it requires a distance of 2,618 feet for takeoff and 3,383 feet for landing. And the service ceiling is at 10,000 feet. Its maximum range is 720 nautical miles, and the maximum takeoff weight is 9,370 pounds. The Pilatus PC-21 is equipped with a customizable and modern glass cockpit, often with a Honeywell Primus Apex Avionics Suite. The pressurized cabin is comfortable for the crew, with environmental control and excellent visibility through the one-piece canopy. It is also equipped with a Martin Baker MKCH-16C ejection seats, and each seat has a personal survival pack and emergency oxygen system built right in. This aircraft is designed for easy maintenance with a proven lifespan for long-term operation making it a popular aircraft for military pilot training in leading air forces around the world. Brand new, the reported base price is 9 million US dollars. So how would you assess these military-style civilian and trainer aircraft? Did we miss anything that deserves to be on this list? Once again, this is Rick San, and you're watching Aviation Federation. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to keep up to date with our latest videos. Thank you for watching and fly safe!